Oh, 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 I didn't mean on me. I meant on the tree. Ethan, how did you recognize me? Your mom signed your name on your side. She always writes my name on my stuff. This is the famous superhero armored train outfit. Oh. Why don't you have an outfit, George? Oh. I do have one. Just look. Oh, George. You spent two weeks in preparations and all you've made is this funny funnel? It's not a funny funnel. This is a fancy party funnel with a surprise. A fancy... What's the surprise? You just wait and see. <laughs> Happy New Year, guys. My fancy party funnel is sensitive to the New Year greetings, Ethan. Happy New Year! The moment these words are spoken, Ethan, the lights come on and then the New Year jingle is played. Isn't that cool? Happy New Year, Ethan. Happy New Year, George. Happy New Year, Ethan. Happy New Year, George. <laughs> Happy New Year, Ethan. Happy New Year, George. <laughs> Happy New Year, Ethan. Enough! You've greeted us already. Yeah, and so what? Huh. Can't we just do it again? Happy New Year! Oh. <laughs> oh, stop saying Happy New Year all the time! Whoa. Uh huh? Huh? <sighs> And now it's time for the best part of our New Year's party. Mm. Come, on, Come on, the lights. lights. Come, Come on, on, the lights. Come on, the lights. Come on, the lights. Come on, the lights. I'm sorry. There will be no lights this year. Oh. Oh. No, there will be lights. Instead of come on the lights, we should all say aloud, Happy New Year! Huh? Hmm. Oh. Oh. Happy, Happy, Happy New, New Year! Year. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! George, what's wrong? Why did they dig this hole? It's not a hole. It's a sewer hatch. Let's close it. <clears throat> Otherwise, someone may fall into it. You don't get it. I was just passing by, and I remembered a proverb which says, Do not dig a hole for another. You will fall into it. So? How can you fall into a hole that you have dug? Nom nom nom. You have to remember where you've dug it. <laughs> Ethan! George! Mm -hmm. Why are you so sad? Mom, what does the proverb, do not mm -hmm. dig a hole for another, you will fall mm -hmm. into it, mm -hmm. Well, it's in a figurative sense. Don't go too far. Daddy will be home soon. We're having dinner. Did you get it? No. I have to figure it out myself. 
as always. That's why you need science. What if it's a tiger? Hmm. The one you are digging the hole for, and he roars, Rawr! Oy. And he falls into the hole, bam, bam, bam! And how am I going to fall in it? But why? There is an angry tiger inside, really angry. Rawr! And he's really angry. Who would like to fall into that hole? Do not dig a hole for another. You will fall into it. Got it? And there is a tiger inside. Both of us won't fit in there. You can dig a bigger hole! That's right! We'll have an experiment! This will be my hole meant for you. And you should dig a hole for me. Should we dig too deep? It's for a tiger! Now let's wait! For what? I will fall into the hole that's meant for me, and you will fall into your hole. Well, I don't feel like I'm gonna fall into this hole. Mm -hmm. <gasps> we didn't swap our holes! Mm. Mm. <sighs> <sighs> Maybe we did something wrong. Maybe that's a wrong proverb. No, proverbs are always correct. Well, Santa Claus doesn't exist hop, either. Hop. The science denies his existence, but every year we get presents hop, hop. somehow. Ah. Hoy. Darling, I'm back. Ethan? What's going on? It's almost a tiger. Where'd that come from? Oi, oi, oi. Ethan, go <gasps> get my bumper. Ethan, are you coming to play? No. <gasps> Dad lost some important details in the hole. I can't go out until I find them. That's what he said. And my parents took my computer for a whole week. And also, we did not get the meaning of the proverb. The proverb was correct. But we did not fall into our holes. What about me? Where am I? Yes, you are. But I am not. Where is your computer now? I don't know. That means you're in a hole. Well, in a figurative sense. <laughs> okay, so we visited the shooting gallery and the panic room as well. Where are we going now? Oh, Ethan, wherever you want to go, but not to that roller coaster. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Arnold! Why are you so slow, Ethan? The contest is ready to start. What contest, huh? The dance contest. One, <laughs> two, three. The main prize is gonna be mine. Bye, losers. That's right. Vera told me about it. She's taking part in this contest, George. Let's go. What, Vera? I wonder who's gonna win this contest. My dance is better. I've been practicing it for a month. One, two, three, one, two, three, there. <laughs> My dance is better. Watch this. <laughs> Hi there. Vera. Oh, wow, you're so... Hi. What did you say I am? Uh, did you say I'm beautiful? Uh-huh. Yes, I am beautiful. That's because I'm gonna dance on stage now. And I'll win the main prize. No, you will not. I'm clean and well-dressed. And you're dirty, and not only that, but you're also horrid as well. Uh... They don't give prizes for that. And now we have the great pleasure of welcoming none other than our Arnold to the stage. And you're dirty as well. What do you mean by that? Because all boys are the same. <gasps> Vera, don't touch me, you'll spoil everything. But you have a... Don't stand there like that. You're distracting me. Go take your seats. Just go on now, guys. But wait, it's important. I said go sit down. Arnold splashed her really badly, ah. and she didn't even notice. What a shame. How is she gonna dance with that blood on her? I don't care. Why is she so presumptuous? Vera can't go with that blood on stage. It'll be so embarrassing. 
And because she thinks she's so pretty, everyone's gonna laugh at her. She shouldn't have said that we are dirty. But George, if everybody laughs at her, she'll start crying. She'll cry? Because Vera is our close friend. We need to tell her about that blot. Let's go. Then you call yourself my friend. Vera! 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 Vera. Wait. Don't go on stage, mm -hmm. Vera. But why not? Just wait. I need to tell you something important. Let me go. What should we do? Vera will start dancing any minute. Everyone will see the blot and they'll start laughing and laughing at her. Oh, dear. I know what to do. Okay, and now we will see the unforgettable and magnificent performance of our young and beautiful Vera. Vera, please. Oh, oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, wow. Bravo. 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 All right, everyone. And our first prize goes to the one and only, the amazing Arnold. And we also have one more prize, and that is the People's Choice Award. And it will go to our lovely Vera. Oh, where is Vera? <laughs> you ruined everything. <laughs> I tried so terribly hard. I'll be back. <laughs> just look. <laughs> oh, so you were just, you were just trying to help me? Uh-huh. Thank you, guys. You're really true friends. I'm really sorry that I called you dirty uh -huh. before. And our dance, it was really good in the end. Vera. Be presumptuous anymore. Uh -huh. Oh, here's the People's Choice Award for you. Thank you very much. Mine is yours too, because it should be yours. Because that was me who ruined your dance. No, it's yours. Your dance was very good too. You danced well too. Well, that's great, Arnold. Let's go somewhere to celebrate it, but not to the roller coaster. This is my champion outfit. No, you can't go to the ball looking like this. Don't worry about a thing. I'll reveal to you all the beauty secrets I know. Wow, you look so beautiful. Let's take a picture together. Let's go. We're late. Hi there, Vera. I'm not Vera. Vera, hello. Hi, Vera. But I am Wendy. <laughs> Well then, my dear and precious trains, I'd like to remind you that at the end of our masquerade ball, we're going to conduct a costume contest. Oh, Vera, that's a great costume. You can surely win the contest. 
I'd like to declare that the costume contest has begun. Please meet our contestants, Vera, dressed up as uh, Vera. Sam Sparky, dressed up as a pirate. And of course, our dear, lovely Mrs. Dove. And the winner for the very best costume goes to... Oh. Wendy! Ha <laughs> ha! In her champion costume. <sighs> hey guys, have you seen Wendy anywhere? We came in together, but where is she now? Hey, is that your friend? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me with my very best friend. Hey, Wendy, I've been looking for you all day. Wow. Hey, Vera, who's this beauty in the picture here? Yeah, so what's her name? <laughs> uh, it's a secret. <laughs> Your weight is normal. Next up, Wendy and Vera. Come along. Wonderful. Truly wonderful. Such light and quick little trains. Now up next are Sam Sparky and Arnie. Uh. Ouch! Oh! Oh, dear. What a heavy train you are. Uh, come on, Ethan. Help Sam Sparky get down. Arnold, how could you grow that fat? I'm not that fat. My grandma says that a good locomotive must be a good locomotive. You know she makes the tastiest fuel in the world. I love to tank up and tank up again and again. Oh, boy. Oh. Now, you see, the heavyweight locomotives are for carrying heavy freight, such as iron, timber, and bricks. You heard that, guys? I'm not fat. I'm heavy duty. <laughs> hey, guys, leave me some good stuff to eat. Oh, please, please. Uh, 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 come on, come on, come on. Oh, gentlemen, where are your manners? You must make way for a lady. Uh, oh. Oi, oi, oi! Oi, 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 oi! Oh, well then, is everybody here? No, Arnold is late. I'm here, I'm here. Ugh. So, your task today will be to find a fuel tank hidden here in this area. Use a map to find it and then bring it back to town. Hey, hey, let me see it too. Huh? Let me see it. Arnold, my friend, it's better you don't come with us. It is a very complicated task. You would fail it. No, I won't. I am a heavy duty locomotive. Shall we take a left turn? Uh, no. It's a right turn. Let's go. Okay. Uh, oh. oh, there it is! We found it! <gasps> oh. It's too high to jump, guys. We might get wrecked. Oh, well, let's ride around then. Oh. 
Mission Yay. completed! <laughs> All thanks to Arnold. Oh, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it. Hmm. Oh, it's nice to take a cold chill after a hard day's work. Ah. Oh! Ah! Hey there, Wendy. Arnold, come with us to the slide. Make it quick. We're all waiting for you. Sure, I'm coming. I'm coming. Easy to say, make it quick. Uh. Oh. Hey, come on, Arnold. Want to take a ride with us? <laughs> Full steam ahead. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I'm inviting you to see a show of my new invention. The demonstration will take place tomorrow at 9.30 train city time on the old road. Sincerely yours, your friend G. Interesting, who is this mysterious G? Thank you, my friends, for accepting my humble invitation. Today is a memorable day that, uh, I guess straight away that G means George. You are a very good guesser, Arnold. Uh, I'm sorry, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh, yes, of course. I invented an engine that works on rainwater and whistle energy. At the beginning, I thought that G stands for general. What an amazing conclusion, Arnold. General. Ugh. Okay, listen up. In order to operate the engine properly, you need to add rainwater and whistle. One good whistle is enough for a 10-minute operation. <laughs> then whistle again. Awesome. George, you're a genius. Oh, well, this occurred to me somehow during the daytime. Is it dangerous? You may rest assured it's absolutely safe. Mm, but you'd better hide on second thoughts, because rainwater together with a whistle is unpredictable. Shall we begin then? I installed the whistle one engine on this trolley can right over here. Let's start the countdown on one, two. I'm hiding. You can start now. Three. <laughs> yay, yay, it works! And this was a quiet whistle. Now please take your seats and get ready. What now, George? I need to test the engine's power to carry packages, that's what. Why so slowly? Can we move faster? The trolley can is fresh and new. <clears throat> I mean, the engine is fresh and new. <sighs> yeah, so what? Hmm. Don't even try. It obeys only to my whistles. Ha! Ha ha ha! Oh. Interesting. <laughs> yeah! It's awesome! <gasps> oh no, it's too fast. I didn't <gasps> count on this. Stop it, please! They want to get off! I'm scared! I cannot stop it! You see, I only invented going forward. I haven't invented stopping it yet, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> minutes are over. We have reached the, the p -p 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 point of destination. That was scary. Uh, <sighs> boy. Why are we climbing so high? Can we take a ride on the trolley, Ken? <sighs> thank you, but no thank you. I've had enough for one day. Wow! <laughs> 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 
Why would people possibly paint the walls like this? That's Ooh. what I'm saying. Huh? I fell asleep, and when I woke up, I saw these paintings right here. Uh. 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 Grand Poppy, I suggest that you don't take any passport photos right now. <laughs> mm. This is outrageous. What? Shame on oh. Who did that? <laughs> <laughs> Well, good. We coped with hooliganism, and I think we did fine. I thought that you were going to make holes in me. So what are we going to do about these hooligans, eh? Easy now. An investigation is underway. Who did that to Grandpa Billy? We'll see after the investigation. How will we see afterwards? Well, first of all, they will find traces of the criminal. <laughs> And with those traces, they will find the criminal himself. Oh. Here are the traces. Strangely familiar, guys. <laughs> so so oh, here you are, are then. Then. Oh. oh, so here you are then. Oh, so, so here, here you are then. Are then. This is called graffiti. And it's also called modern art, huh? Well, it looks more like modern hooliganism to me. Fantastic. You're a good painter. You just need to know where you can and where you cannot paint, and you'll be fine. And where can I paint? Well, you know, there are a lot of dull gray fences that you can paint, for a start. Let's make a festival of graffiti here. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I'll make beautiful paintings right here. And we will help you. Oh, wow, that's great. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, you are so good. You see, you can spoil the town with paintings, or you can make it more beautiful. Well, yes, I suppose it's better. I agree with that, and there's no more paint on Grandpa Billy, at least. Uh, yeah. Well, if you'll take another look, you'll see that I actually do have some paint on me. Uh, oh. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I didn't notice. <laughs> Do you have scour liquid? Or should I keep this paint on for fun? Go! 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 It's me! Oh. Oh. Good job! <laughs> One, zero. My mom told me that Grandpa Billy has a birthday tomorrow. Oh. Uh, let's make Grandpa Billy a birthday present. Uh. It'll be a lovely uh. surprise. Uh oh, what? Love. Before that, we need to ask him what he would want for a present. There's no point otherwise. E uh. Oh, uh, you're not supposed to ask that. I think your present has to be a surprise. Surprises are the best. Big deal. We will make him the best present ever. No surprises. Come on, guys, let's go. Grandpa Billy is very old and rusty. We shall paint him anew for a present. Look at my designs. Uh, hey, Sam Sparky, that's great, but how could we know what his favorite color is? Well, we will ask him. All right. 
right then. The fashion show begins. Huh? For the elderly puff, stripes is the most stylish design. Green dot, you say? Is it chicken pox, you think? No, he's not ill. Huh? Polka dots is the most fancy print. It's gorgeous. Huh? Fix your wagon, polka dots, I'll fix it. All right, let's plate him with chromium. Ah, <laughs> oh, I think... I mean, I'm pretty sure that this red pipe connects to Grandpa Billy's shower. No, the blue one. I know everything about pipes. Just look at this. Grandpa Billy, are you there? Yes, it's Grandpa Billy's voice. Put it on the blue one. Go ahead. As soon as plated Grandpa Billy shows up, we render him flowers. And there goes your line. Dear Grandpa Billy, this chrome suits you very much. <laughs> Mrs. Dove, you are stunningly gorgeous. <laughs> oh, General, don't be so official. Just call me a silver star and we'll call it a day. <sighs> I told you to put it on the red pipe. Not the blue one. Huh. You hipsters, you! Dear Grandpa Billy, this chrome, I mean. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Grandpa Billy. Here you are. These are for you. Hey, thank you, kids. Your friend's care is the best present you ever get, that's for sure. 